That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. It's over now. We made it. I mean, his brains just... Just like... Like snot. Yes. Okay, that was awful. I agree, but... We got through it, you know, and that probably shouldn't have happened. At least now we know we can handle ourselves. If what? If brains ooze out of people's noses? Well, yeah, basically. I guess you sort of have a point somewhere in there. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. And get the hell out of here. Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? Alright, you know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world-famous Hall of Pandoran Luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, 
who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it! Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Uh, oops. with this? Oh. It's locked. Oh, come on. Are you serious? This feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. You know, things happen. They happen! What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad... Disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure, sure. Why didn't you say so, huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know? A real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I figured you want to take the tour, maybe get here a little early. Early? Are you kidding me? You think I like being here? You think this is fun? Have you seen the bathroom yet? Every minute in this horror factory is like an hour. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon, 
Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh, equal footing. You want my name? My name's ten million dollars for all you should care. You're a vault key to me, okay? That's it. Okay, okay, look. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but this is not how I operate, all right? I expected Vasquez, and I got you. Yeah! So let's all get friendly real fast. I mean, I'm trying. Aren't I trying? Huh? Aren't I trying? You're trying. So, let's try again. My name's August. What's yours? Do you want me to guess? This is a business transaction, okay? We don't have to be buddies. No, we don't have to be buddies, dickhead. But it'd just make me a heck of a lot more comfortable to know just who I'm gifting this vault key to. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so... The way I, uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look! You said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? Is she okay? Yeah, yeah, she's just freaking out. She does that sometimes. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this... dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? He's been a giant... dick this entire time. And why... why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I... You're making a big mistake. This money we're offering is life-changing, and it's right here. I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we're not like those assholes. In fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird... Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem. Let's just... No, I'm... I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I... I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest, this is your department! Do something! Can't let you leave with that pal. Oh no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, 
That's what I thought. Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming load of skag crap. Well, well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass! It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! It sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could've. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last- <laughs> Okay, I get it. <clears throat> this fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. Yeah, go on. That psycho gang lord guy made his big stupid entrance. Mind! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that? The most important thing. Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona. When she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? 
Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. Get it all out. I guess. 